Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm with one of my clients, Jason Schneider, and he's going to be sharing with you some of the tips that he's learned in our work together. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having you all meet him. Uh, he himself has some great videos and training, uh, which he can talk about later. But let me first, well, let me first say hi. Hi, Jason. <laughs> hi, George. Great having you <laughs> here. Thank me. you. So let me uh, introduce you, Jason. I'll read your bio uh, so that everyone can have a, have a sense of who you are, and then we'll go into some of the tips and uh, lessons you've learned in our work, and hopefully it'll encourage other business owners and um, content creators. So Jason Schneider is a trainer of neuro-linguistic programming, sometimes called NLP, and Jason works with coaches and other professionals who are interested in cutting-edge tools for improving their own coaching and their own communication skills. Uh, Jason's website is perceptionacademy.com, perceptionacademy.com, and he started that to teach NLP in a way that's easy, natural, and authentic, with a focus on self-actualization, uh, which is unleashing the highest potential in ourselves and others. I love it. Thank you, Jason. It's great. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so let's let's get right into it. Uh, I know you uh, just you know you learned so much about business and marketing over the years, and of course in our work together, you you probably learned from a slightly different angle. And maybe I can start there because you actually had a lot of business and marketing knowledge already. Um, but what was different as we started our work together? We as we started interacting, uh, you know what what did you gain that? Um, you thought was particularly worthwhile and, and folks watching this might find interesting? So I, I would say immediately right off, right off the bat, what really resonated uh, from you with me was your authenticity and, and just the, I, I felt that I could trust you. And, and I had been reaching out to different marketing coaches um, at the time, you know, you know the story. And, um, and I, was, I was actually with a, a friend of mine, we were right on the fence of, of working with a different marketing coach, which was, uh, absurdly priced um, in retrospect for the value that, that I would have been receiving. And so, yeah, just talking to you, um, it just felt very authentic, very, very much that I could, I could trust your opinion that you were there to serve me. And it wasn't about you getting money. It was really about seeing if there was an alignment between you and me. Thank, wow. Thank you for saying that. Cause I think um, all of us can, I mean, everybody watching this as a business owner, of course, if you're watching this, you might, consider yourself an authentic business owner, uh, can benefit from that story. Um, yeah, I, when I talk with a potential client, I really am trying to gauge the fit instead of trying to persuade them to work with me. Um, and well, some people may say, well, why, why do you do that? Well, it's, you know, because if I work on persuasion, I probably can get more clients signed up but the chances are I'll have clients that are, aren't happy or, or I won't be happy working with them because, well, it wasn't the perfect, it wasn't the right fit anyway. So thanks for saying that. I think, I think um, and have you noticed your own sort of transformation in, in that regard in terms of talking with potential clients? Yeah. And so that's something that I learned very early on when I started learning NLP. So like many years earlier, there are different, so many different choices of who can I work with? Who can I train with? Who can I study with? And I made some poor decisions earlier on. And what happened was one of the, one of the decisions that I made within myself is I said to myself, if someone is talking too fast or too slick, it's definitely not because they're trying to serve me and my best interests. And so I kind of made that, I made that decision. I said, if someone is talking too complicated or they're talking in, in unnatural ways or it doesn't feel right that this person most likely they're not doing it for my benefit right they're doing it for their own personal gain and so yeah and so so when I was when I met you and I had that sense and, and that um, experience with you those experiences with you it really one of the main reasons that said okay this is the guy that I want to work with is because I wanted to become like that. And I know that if I work with someone who their style is to pressure me into a, a, a high price sale, a high ticket item, not necessarily exploring if it's in my best interest, but really not like persuading me that that's not the way that I want to be with my clients. Mm. And so, yes, definitely. Um, through working with you, I've tried as best as I can to model that experience for, 
for um, people who reach out to me, whether they're, they're actual warm prospects or they're just people who have a question about NLP. Um, it's more about just seeing, are, are we aligned? Am I a good fit for you? And if not, I've been uh, really starting to refer out for the first time, which is something that I've never, I've never really done before. Wow. That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, one of the other changes I've seen in you is you are creating a lot more content now, particularly video content, um, than before. So maybe you can talk about that. Um, there are a lot of people watching this who are, they see my videos, they're like, well, maybe I should create videos, but I'm scared. Um, what words of encouragement or you know, wisdom can you, you want to share? Yeah. And so just a real quick story before I answer that. It's funny because I had a coach who was working with me um, for uh, kind of like a, an NLP coach, a life coach type of deal. And she was getting so frustrated with me because she was coming with me every week. And every week I had the same goal, which is I want to publish videos on YouTube. And it, would, it, it wasn't happening, right? It was just this kind of like spinning. And she was getting so frustrated as a coach. I could see and I was feeling her pain. And, and, and ironically, after I stopped working with her and I started working with you, um, one of the things that encouraged me to actually take that action step that I was thinking about for so long, but I hadn't actually uh, followed through on was the, the, the safety and trust that we had within the master heart community. So within your group coaching program, uh, what happened was, is, is while I didn't feel comfortable sharing my videos with a larger, with the world, I guess, I did feel very comfortable not only like, like I said before, through feeling that I could trust you and the authenticity from you, but just through the community that you, I guess, curated in a way, but, or, or brought together, however, however it organically happened, um, that, that all of those people, I had that same sense that I could trust them, that they would offer me encouragement, that they would offer me, uh, the right feedback from their own personal experiences. And with, I don't know, it was like 25 people at the time, I got a really big, um, download as to how could I improve my videos and, and also encouragement going, Hey, you're, you're pretty good at this. You should do this more often. And so I encourage people to, whether it's in your group call or, or even if it's just like creating a, a, a secret Facebook group and just practicing by yourself to practice your videos in a safe space um, and offer, get high quality feedback on them, but, but also to, to be brave, uh, to actually publish them to a larger community because just like you always say, it's like not everyone's going to see it. The, the people who are meant to see it are going to see it. And if it's just one like, then it's one like, if it's three likes, it's three likes. If it's zero, it's zero. It's just feedback. Um, and so, um, yeah, uh, uh, one of the things reflecting back on 2017 that I wish I would have done differently was to take action quicker and spend less time in a state of fear or, 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 uh, inner reflection and just get out and do it because it's really, uh, it, it, it was, uh, it was, it was one of the most rewarding things that I, I began to implement in my business in 2017. Wow. I love that. Thank you. I, great advice. And I also want to maybe plug you a little bit, you know, cause you give a lot of advice about communication in your videos, in fact. And so, um, folks who are watching this, I'll be sure to link to Jason's page and videos so you can kind of learn from some, some communication skills from him. And you also do some coaching around communication. And so people who might be concerned about how they're showing up on video, they can, they can work with you to, to kind of improve, improve the presence there. Um, what about um, your productivity? How has that uh, shifted or what have you learned there that might be interesting for people? Yeah. So, so this is also kind of a funny story because I was even, I was talking with uh, my girlfriend about this last night and, and it was really funny because I was saying that if someone would have told, asked me, let's say five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, they would say, Hey Jason, um, how productive are you? Do you think you're a highly productive person? I would have like hands down said, Oh my God, I am so productive. I work <laughs> 60 hours a week consistently Monday through Saturday, maybe even more. Sometimes I don't even take Sunday off. I'm always working on my business. I, 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 I sometimes I'll say no to fun and social engagements. And, and so like I, even, even after, even probably even six months after having worked with you, I still would have been like, Oh, I am highly productive. That is not something I would, I, I need. I wouldn't seek that out. I wouldn't spend a nickel on it. And, and the, the hilarious thing is that through kind of in a way being forced into it just because it's so, something that I think is so important to you and your life. Um, and, and just having, I guess, that higher level of exposure 
to what what does a, a day in a solopreneur's life look like? I mean, what are, what do the hours look like what, when you add them up and account them? What should I be doing with my time and what's wasting my time? The idea of, of time logging and tracking what am I doing with my time and where can I perhaps uh, make more time or, or maybe stick some more productive activities or habits in there. Yeah. So, so yeah, the funny thing was, is that, is that, you know, if you would have even asked me six months ago, I would have said, Oh no, I don't need anything like that. I'm a highly productive person. And now looking back on it, I think that that's, that's my number one uh, space for growth. And I'm, I'm so grateful to have, um, to have you as a, as, as a genuinely a model of excellence um, who not only practices what you preach around, around productivity, um, and joyful productivity is, is another part of it, not being productivity, productively stressed or stressfully productive, but yeah. <laughs> being joyfully productive. And, yeah. and, and having you as a model and also through your, your different programs, being able to really, really peek behind the scenes and, um, and, 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 and really give myself a frame of reference as opposed to comparing myself with myself. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That makes Thank sense. you. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> having an outside perspective and kind of seeing how it could work um, and how, how it is working. Cause I'm, I am really, uh, I was just talking with somebody else about this today. Like, like we really, I, it, like typically I don't, I don't think human beings change very much over the years, but I think one place we really, the one way we really do change is when we keep practicing something over and over again and it becomes second nature and before long we kind of look and it's like well we're kind of different people i think that's that's the way with joyful productivity you know it's these little skills that you put and then you know six months later you're like wow i'm 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 kind of different i'm you know the way i use my day is quite different so it's really great i'm really glad to hear that it's been helpful yeah. and also thinking about how what one realization was how that compounds over time so if you're playing angry birds for 30 minutes a day maybe it's not a big deal but when you add that up over two years, five years, 10 years, you're talking about, I mean, you could have mastered playing the guitar or speaking another language or, yeah. or, or making you better YouTube videos or mastering your field or making money working with clients. There's just so many, something so small adds up um, when, yes. you, when you think about it, automating as a habit that you're doing consistently over time. Really, so really there, great. In there, you can get really big leverage just shifting something small because you're, you're compounding it over time. Yeah, that's such a great point. Uh, and it's so important for us to, that's why, like time logging, right? Like, can, are we willing to be honest with ourselves or about where our time is going and where else it could be going? So, um, well, you know, maybe we can start to wrap up this conversation and I want to, um, like have people hear about how you work with people. What are your offerings right now? You've got some really exciting things to share there. So, um, I know one of the things you're, you're doing is you're, you do uh, these 25 minute laser sessions. Um, talk about that. What, what, what is that all about? Yeah, so, so 25 minute laser sessions is something that I kind of invented myself in a way, at least the way that I do it. And, and it's really a way to offer someone the opportunity to have a breakthrough in a very short period of time in a way that they've never quite experienced it before. Um, and so a lot of people come in and they don't know exactly what to expect. And so I spend the first five minutes explaining what to expect. Um, a lot of times we have a lot of fun. People end up laughing the whole entire time, harder than they've ever laughed before at things that they used to beat themselves up about. And, mm. and, and, um, and yeah, we really just, you know, it's a, it's a conversation like a lot of people have never experienced before. We focus only on, on you and we go deep into the kind of back of your mind, the unconscious patterns that are driving the most important thing for you at that time, whatever the, whatever the topic is. And so, so uh, yeah, I've been getting great, great feedback, great reviews, great testimonials uh, from people even, even weeks and months later saying, man, that's still in my head. I can't believe that in just a short period of time that, that it could have such a profound impact on, on their lives. What, what are some possible issues that you can work with people on? Oh, the, well, you know, honestly, the list is almost uh, endless. So I've worked with, I, I had a, a, a laser session uh, recently. We were focusing on someone bringing more joy into their work, um, having mm -hmm. more fun at work. Yep. Um, I did a, a phobia cure session uh, mm -hmm. with someone who had a fear of needles and they were uh, fighting the nurse, basically. And they referred to referred to referred. 
And uh, I just received an amazing testimonial saying that the doctor is starting to send me referrals because he's never seen something. She was night and day. Um, wow. I've worked with, um, what else? Boy, um, you know, it's just so many things coming up, like getting people uh, in the right state of mind to, to actually make their videos, their content as, as coaches I've worked with uh, recently. Cool. Um, really, whatever somebody brings to the table, um, the way that the conversation, it's about the structure of the conversation. So regardless of the content, um, people seem to get a lot out of it. Cool, cool. That's great. So the, the method you use in that laser session is NLP, right? Yeah, it's a combination of NLP and, and neurosemantics and, mm -hmm. and also um, a, a, a discipline called meta coaching. Mm. Nice. Which adds some additional skills to, to the coaching conversation. That's great. That's great. Um, so people can contact you at perceptionacademy.com or message your Facebook page and you'll get back to them about how to schedule that. Um, yep. Awesome. And then uh, you also have uh, some e-courses that are available for free on your website for people who are on your newsletter. So people should check that yeah, out. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, two free courses. Um, um, honestly, honestly, one of them is available on YouTube for free. So you don't, you know, if you want to just go check out my YouTube channel, you can get that whole course uh, there. You don't have to opt in or anything, but I do send out my, uh, my NLP content regularly mm -hmm. uh, yeah. via, via my newsletter. If That's you're great. Interested I'll, I'll be sure that. to, I'll be sure to link to your YouTube channel as well in, in the notes. And the last thing is you are doing a training coming up. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. So just real quickly, I'm doing a, a training here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's, um, I'm calling it NLP Essentials, um, but I've, I've also taught it by the name of Communications Essentials and Coaching Essentials, because at the end of the day, I think that coaching, uh, and especially NLP coaching, is one of the, the highest forms of just communication in general, uh, personally and professionally. Um, and so anyways, yeah, it's a three-day uh, course. It's um, it reviews all of the essential skills of neurolinguistic programming for just being more effective as a communicator and more effective as a, as an influencer. Um, and, and, uh, and yeah, so, uh, it's, uh, if, if you're interested in getting started with NLP and actually, um, going to a live course, meeting a group of like-minded people who are interested in developing themselves and their skills and their performances, then it's a, it's definitely a great way to get started and a pretty affordable, uh, training, relative to the market price. So uh, people can check that out also on the, on the website. Awesome. Yeah. We'll just let them check it out. Cause I know you probably will do this ongoingly at different times of the year. So folks can go and check out the dates, but you have, you do have one coming up pretty soon. So those watching this can go and uh, take a, take a look. Awesome, man. Um, anything else? It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, um, Nothing else. I, I, you know, I, I just talk so highly of, 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 of you um, because, because of, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are, are calling themselves marketing coaches. You know, you know what I think it is, honestly, this is something I was thinking about the other day also, um, which is that I think a lot of people, a lot of these marketing courses out there, they run like thousands of dollars sometimes up to like $10,000 a lot of them teach these like marketing tactics and, and stuff. Um, these kind of advanced marketing tactics that are sometimes, sometimes um, on the fringe of unethical and sometimes they're, they're way across that line. And I, I think that a lot of things that I've learned from you are really more foundational in terms of building the, the core of a business. Like they, I could have all, I, like you said, I studied a lot of marketing stuff, you know, email marketing, uh, social media marketing, network marketing, you know, influencer marketing, blah, 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 blah. I have a degree in marketing. I have my bachelor's in marketing. And, um, and, and, and what I've really personally taken away, and it's not all that you offer, but getting into content marketing and putting messages out on a regular basis that you can use to explore who you are, to improve your 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 knowledge and your 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 expression of your craft um and also to find out who connects with what and what topics are resonating in the marketplace that's just a foundational skill for business building um that you really need to figure out how you fit into the marketplace in a way that you can be authentic yourself 
and you're connecting with people who are authentically aligned with your offering. And I think that that's something that a lot of, especially solopreneur coaches, but a lot of entrepreneurs in general who are just starting out are missing that all the money you want to spend on email marketing, social, all that stuff is going to go down the tubes unless you have this foundation. And so uh, I just wanted to tell that to you because I, I was thinking about that yesterday. And, and I think that that's something that really set apart my work with you as opposed to anyone else that I've worked with in developing my business. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, I so believe in it. I feel like it is a personal development practice, you know, content marketing when it's done. Well, when it's done from that perspective, it's so much more fulfilling. So um, I love that you're doing it, man. And I hope people will go check out your videos and kind of follow your journey. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. I, I appreciate uh, everything. All right, man. Great, great talking with you and everyone watching this, go take a look at Jason's videos and um, see how far he's come from not making videos just you know, a little while ago and uh, take a look at his e-courses on his website and maybe you'll even attend the training that he's doing. So, and oh, do the 25-minute uh, laser coaching session. I, I uh, assure you that you're gonna be impressed and, and benefit from that. So thanks so much, Jason. Thank you, George. Thanks so much.